Welcome to this tip presented by the Envision Group. In this tip, we're going to open up an AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 file and export it to MicroStation V8 DGN. Here we have a file that we're going to be working with. It is a, an existing survey DWG file. I'm going to go to the uh, file pull down and select Export DGN File. From the export DGN file, you have two options to save out a V7 or V8 DGN file format. And select Save. In the uh, export DGN settings, you have options for handling DWG references, what to do with DGN underlays, and what specify um, and be able to specify the seed file. When you select the Browse button, you have multiple options for V8 and V7 files, and whether they're imperial or metric. Our recommendation would be use your corporate seed file. Also radio buttons for master and subunits. Here we have DGN mapping setups where we can take a setup and be able to remap layers, line types, line weights, and colors. I'm going to create a new one here based on the standard mapping setup. Once that opens, you can go to the layer tab and you've got the DWG layer name on the left and the DGN level name on the right. Uh, normally there's not a level 0 in DGN files, so we'll switch that to default. Other options include uh, import properties from a DGN or a DWG file. Going to the line type tab, again there is no continuous in the DGN, so I want to make that a line style 0 for my DGN file. The rest of them could be um, remapped as well. For line weights, going from DWG thicknesses to DGN line weight numbers, you can select that and change those. Under the color, there are no options, but if I do a right click, um, add color, I can select a DGN color number and have it correspond to the DWG color. When working with colors between the two platforms, it is best to use true color whenever possible due to the fact that the AutoCAD index color cannot be edited. It tries to find a best fit color in MicroStation, so try to use true color whenever possible. Go ahead and hit OK. There we go, we hit OK. And close. So now my new Indigo Bay export has been set up. You can see my layers, my line types, and my line weights have been remapped the way I like them. Go ahead and select OK. And now the DGN file translation is successful. Going to go into MicroStation V8i now, open up that file that we just exported. There we go. Files open. Everything looks pretty good. I'm going to pan around here. Uh, take a look at the levels here. As you can see, what I'm trying to show you is that the uh, names have been changed and also the uh, line styles are now zero instead of continuous. And the level default was also defined there. And if I window into the line styles, you can see that has been translated OK as well. This concludes our tip with uh, exporting an AutoCAD file to a MicroStation DGN file. Thanks for watching.